Hello my fellow keepers, how's it going? Welcome to the channel and welcome to the bird Yeah, I started, there I did it again I did it again The gardens, bird and reptile park I keep on forgetting to put that garden section in Maybe I should just call it the bird and reptile park but it's still late now Okay, so the last episode we have done our guest building which is this massive um, I don't know, I'm, I'm actually sort of liking the whole style now um unfortunately not all the buildings well I, I say unfortunately i mean fortunately um all the building buildings buildings doesn't look the same we have some more square like buildings box type of buildings because uh i didn't want everything to look like this so we have a couple of them and then a couple of them and so on and so on so this episode we will add our staffed area which will be two paths from here I know this is sort of a massive stretch and far distance to walk and 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 but from obstructed by what uh, maybe it's just me clicking on the wrong places we still have to keep an eye on our money um, the last thing I want to do is take out a loan so I think we might only be able to add our staff building if it is not too expensive because that's also another thing I don't know how expensive it is if it is expensive then what we will do is we'll put temporarily ones there for now open the zoo sort of start that whole income thing because we still need to get in animals get in donation bins um, dustbins and all of those sort of I don't know things and this whole entire section for now I'm not gonna connect I'm just gonna leave it as is so we're gonna go up until about there that's sort of going to be the end of the zoo on the sides for this sort of section but I can't room oh you know what we do have something later on that sort of goes out here um, and this technically should be three now that I think about it, yeah, it should be three. So we're gonna do that for now. I'm not sure if this is three though. See, that's something I can't really remember. Okay, so for all of this to work, I would say the staff facility building thing should be about 30 grand at most. So let's see. Yeah, that's gonna be too expensive. Uh, I'm trying to find what I'm looking for. That's the old one. I think that, yeah, that's just something that I've played with. Um, that's not even a thing. I should remove that. Uh, we have the Aldebra. We have. Oh, we could do that part of the park eventually as well. First, I'm not seeing the staff yard. Oh, it's too expensive. Oh man, that's sort of sad. That's sad, okay. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just add a couple of um, staff buildings there for now. Um, not something that I wanted to do. And then we'll sort of let it run, not run, but as we go along fixing small things in the beginning of, well, the front of the zoo. Um, it will allow us to, I don't know, earn enough money. So we have another star facility which is cheaper for now where all the buildings is in but I think just to save money in general let's just use uh, plain simple buildings for now so we'll do a keeper hut there no not, not that uh, we'll do a quarantine we will do a vet oh no a vet there we go a staff room we have two in there so we'll place two research center not that we need one but we'll do one a workshop and a trade center so we've got all of that let's get our staff so we're gonna need uh, I would say about three cleaners that would sort of help to move the animals in faster 
Um, so let's see, one, two, three, maybe four. I think four should be enough. And um, I don't know why the keepers don't help carry the animals. I mean, they could have just as well helped if there was a lot of like an, a free keeper, you know, if it didn't have anything to do. So we will do three, four keepers for now. Then um, we'll do security one, two. We will do a veterinarian also maybe two for now. I know like that's sort of pushing it and we might lose a ton of money because we have so many staff, but we can always just reduce the wages. Um, it's not too big of a deal. We have three animals, so we should be fine. And I also won't connect that for now. Just, oh, we have to. We have to. Um, hmm. I have to. Because otherwise the staff can't get there. So just connecting up the path here. No, we want that open. There we go. It's not, luckily the path is not too expensive, I mean it's like 7, it seems like 720. Oh, uh, I see there's sort of like different prices to each. Interesting, I'm not sure why though. Because we don't have flattened terrain on, do we? No. So, very interesting. And in this little section there we will have a little guest seating area as well just to, i don't know i wanted to do something there that sort of just add something if that makes sense just to make it look pretty um my main sort of thing i wanted to do was a massive fountain and obviously we didn't have space for that so okay and then we'll have one line down here just one for now because I want to save as much money as as I can. Um, I know we're sort of short on money now. So we'll do that. Unfortunately, this won't be staff path because um, guests will be able to walk there to obviously go through this sort of whole thing. They can go through there. They can get, you know, they will be sort of all over places where they can walk through it. Because I want them to use it as much as possible. So we'll have that. Oh, oh, we have a problem there. I need to look into that. Fix that as well. Let's uh, deselect and make sure we connect everything. There we go, so that's connected. I think it's time to adopt animals and move the animals in. That's connected. I actually want to open this section, but until I add our buildings, I'm not sure where to open. I can't really remember. So for now, they're going to sort of run and walk a far distance, but we will add buildings there just now as well. Okay, let's get animals. So we have currently a few... Let's do this. So we want the common ostriches. We want the... Oh, I was looking at all the primates, so that's why they were ticked. Um, common ostrich. Oh, we have war dogs, but this is not for them. Uh, what am I looking for? Indian Peafowl and Greater Flamingo. Which I think I've passed. Why am I not seeing it? What am I doing? Oh, there, there we have the Indian I saw now. And then the greater flamingo should be there somewhere. There we go. Thank the heavens. I found them. So we have a few. We have an ostrich, a few greater flamingos. So what we'll do is we'll move them in. This are well these animals are the ones that I couldn't release to the wild and only sell them, but the fertility and I don't know, there's just something very wrong. <laughs> very wrong with them um, and I didn't want to sell them I sort of wanted to keep them I mean they could still be used for breeding programs and stuff like that so why not keep them 
Oh, we have one that we could have released, but it's actually a good thing we didn't because she has quite good stats, so that's good. We need a male though, and another female. That one, I don't even think is fertile anymore. One of them isn't fertile anymore. I think it's this one. I'm not sure. We'll see just now. And then our common ostrich, okay. So we're going to get more. Um, so we've done females, all of those were just females. Uh, we'll do another female of um, common ostrich and a male. We'll do greater flamingo, we'll do like a bit more because they like bigger groups. And the Indian peafowl will do two more, no one more female and a male. I think that sounds about right. Because they luckily breed like crazy. Okay, so male we have a, a I want I want a white one. I'm pretty sure these two are family. I'm not sure if they come from the same zoo. I should have actually checked. Um Yeah, so we won't adopt that one. Just to be safe, we will take. Does that come from the same frontier? Hmm. It's amazing how their animals aren't like sort of good and proper. You would think that they would have proper animals. Uh, let's see. So we have two extra now. Four should be enough for now. Let's do the greater flamingo. So I want to do an oh, not that female. Actually, you know what, let's take out the Indian peafowl. This is sort of sad that I have to choose animals again, um, because of the whole crash thing. We'll do another theme. Oh, we have a white oh, so, oh, but Look, look, the fertility is good. Um, she's still young, so I think I'll adopt her. Oh, and it failed. Darn it. People were too quick for me. I don't think I'm going to be, well, there's another one. Let's adopt her. Um, and a male. We have a sil oh, we have a gold male, but slightly older. Let's adopt him. So we'll have two females. That seems. Well, that that's fine for now. Let's do the flamingos now. So take out the common ostrich. So for the flamingos, I don't think I'm going to have any luck with normal zoo money. Everything's going to be conservation credits. I actually need to top up that by breeding again. Um, we'll adopt that male, that female, um, that female. We need more males. Oh lord, that's, that's expensive. That's very expensive. Oh, there we go. I'll definitely take all of them just because why not okay, I think we have enough now I think we we have enough animals to I don't know keep everyone happy okay let's uh let's play and um, while they are okay so they they start running we can add some of our facilities like our donation boxes and stuff. I want to use that color so we're going to copy that and place that all over. I actually want to place it more on the corners but I don't know that sort of seems like the best place to put it. Then we have space for all the bins and stuff. Maybe we can put one sort of here as well and on the other side a garbage bin. I only see now that they are sort of into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we haven't connected that yet. I need to connect that. We'll do it just now. This side we can have one. Luckily, we'll we'll have like quite a few guests. Um, I think we'll have a few problems, obviously. That we need to attend before we run out of money completely because there's gonna be a lot of problems I can tell you now we're gonna have problem after a, a problem after problem I want to do one here as well on that little thing but 
maybe it would be sort of better to do it there just because you know why not is that sort of that seems like it's in the middle okay while they are moving animals um we can uh, add some garbage bin. So what is the problem? So let's see. Overpriced. So we'll make prices for now six. Just so that we can get our guest. Then we have a incorrect place speaker that will all change just now. All of that will change. Something is walking on me and it's only a, I don't know what bug it is but it's a little bug uh, okay so that will change okay, it doesn't seem like they are rushing back to the animals so maybe we can move more animals it's the common ostrich we want to move into that habitat we'll see now if someone runs someone has to run And then we have a couple of greater flamingos, the Indian peafowl. I want to also do first because the the um, greater flamingos. There's a lot of we need to connect the path as well. I just want to keep like an eye on our finances because I know there's going to be problems just now. Um, We'll just keep an eye on it. There's actually quite a lot that I have to move. Wait, what? They're already having offspring? Wow. That that's like just wow. Didn't even give me a chance to Okay, so we have the gardens, the gardens, that's still trade center. I don't know why this takes so long. You click and it takes forever to, I don't know. Another trade center. There's still a few that's in the trade center. that's the last one to be in the trade center cool okay so we've done that um, I've heard some sort of gooey thing going on I'm not sure if someone's stuck but let us oh you know what this is what what makes me mad people doing that that's honestly just so disgusting um, I know we need bins and stuff but wow I think they need to maybe also do something about that, that people need to be fined if they litter your park. But if you don't have bins in your park, then obviously you sort of get a fine, I don't know. But they need to be met halfway. If there is bins, people need to actually keep their trash until they are at a bin. Um, if you have two little bins, you know, there, there should be a nice balance. Because sometimes people would throw stuff just right next to the bin. And you think to yourself, what is going on? Okay, so we have that. We're going to need some bins here as well. Once we connect this bad boy, there's going to be a lot of trash all over the park. I can, I can just see it. I can see it. Um, did I connect it in the... Yeah. So we'll connect that also sort of I wanna get it as straight as possible in the middle. I just don't know if I got that quite right, but yeah. We'll do one oh we can't really do it there, but we'll do it there. And sort of there. Um I wanna do one there. Unfortunately we don't have this pillar anymore. Because we had a bin there, I don't know if you guys remember. But we can do one there. And one sort of there. Shame, the only balloons is closed. Well, not closed, empty. Okay, I think we have enough bins. Um, 
I think uh, I think we should be fine for now. Although these aren't the color of brands that I wanted to use. Um, we can rechange them, yeah. Cool. Okay, so we've got all of that done. Um, yeah, let's hope that people behave themselves. While we are doing the paths and stuff, let's do this as well. So what I do actually, instead of installing it from that side, because it's sort of difficult, I install it uh, not from, there, from there. And uh, just... Uh, uh, you know what, I think I might have a problem, there we go, just do that, it's sort of easier to to install everything, um, I don't put a path there obviously because that is sort of a problem for this whole thing, um, what happens is guests just walk through the, uh, the wall and um, yeah, that's, that's sort of very annoying, um, I think, I think I might of no it, it's fine it's never mind never mind for a moment i thought i might have placed it wrong because it didn't look right but then i saw it is because all of this will be connected so that you won't even see that um There's always a problem with the staff. I think the staff is like the biggest problem in the game. There's always a problem with them. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, we're gonna put a couple of bins in and then we'll do our tables and chairs and then we'll just keep an eye on our money to see how fast it gets to the point where we can add our staff room, which I wanna do so badly. Unfortunately, this bin doesn't work here, so we'll have to get a different sort of bin. Um, I mean, I think it's sort of the best bin. Yeah, I think this is the best sort of bin that I could use. Let's see if we can change it. Not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. Do one on the other side as well. This is just to, I don't know, prevent them from walking to do the pillar. Um, I guess I could have done the same with sort of bins all over this section now that I think about it. But it would look super awkward, so I didn't. Unless I cover it, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of options. Uh, when the building is on the workshop, you guys can explore it and see what sort of situation can be done. Uh, I want some of the other grayer bins. So we have one there. We're gonna need one in there. We need one. Oh, what am I doing? It's getting night time as well. But we are making money, which is good. So, which means the next episode we can actually add our staff room. Uh, okay, so we have four, right? Yeah. So this is sort of our middle. Oh, and they also don't fit. No. No. Will this fit? Oh no, that's sort of very sad. Um. Okay, what I can do is sort of do two then. We can add one sort of there. And one sort of, I don't know, there. If that makes sense. Just two. And then do the same on the side. So we have our two, so we'll do one here, and the other there. Okay, no, um, no, that, I don't know why it seems sort of misplaced, but okay, whatever. We need some chairs. Now the reason why I put all of this stuff before I connect the actual building is like with the, the tables and chairs you need to get up close and sometimes there's like people in the way and it makes it a little bit sort of difficult to see what you are doing and this is also sort of nice to put your tables in because there is already these lights um, that sort of guides you to I don't know put it right in if that makes sense and uh, Yeah, 
Where else? Do that one. Okay, so we have R4 there, and let's do R4 here. Yeah. Then we're gonna connect the path, and then check on the little problems that we have. That we can't find enough stuff, rooms and stuff. I think our staff is like most probably the worst at this stage. You know, that wasn't very accurate, but it's okay. We just want to get this going. Like I said, I'm I'm very sad with this whole crash situation. Um, it's not like you know I could have saved because in franchise they it saves automatically. The whole thing is just it it it's gone. All the work that was put into it is gone. So I was quite sad about the whole thing. Um. And I'll be honest, that sort of made me, <laughs> I don't want to say lose interest, but it sort of gave me a negative vibe. Is that the actual stairs? That's sort of, that's very skew. I actually see that only now, I need to definitely fix that. What does the other side look like? This side is the same. Okay. Interesting. So we're just gonna connect it like that, um, just to, I don't know, make sure it is connected so that people can um, come and visit, spend money, hopefully. I should maybe charge for the toilets. I think that way we could make a lot of money. We already have people storming in. <laughs> Quite fun. It doesn't seem like you actually have to connect the buildings like this because they do tend to use it without that sort of full connection. Okay, so we have that done. That is done. I oh, look at our wonderful entrance. Isn't that lots beautiful? I oh, know it is. It's beautiful. Okay, so all all this seems to be well except for high litter, which we will fix now. with a couple of bins um, under price so we'll go to nine dollars a ticket and then what else is the problem there's multiple building problems which I don't even want to oh no power hmm. because we have that section underneath that should technically be working um, let's see our power okay well, that is it for this episode. The next episode, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dig down here. No, let's rephrase that. We're going to add our water stations because we need them for our animals. Otherwise, we're going to have filthy water. So we'll add our water stations um, and our keeper stations. Then if we have money left, we will do our digging, which will happen around about here. I can't really remember. And uh, after that, we will see what the money looks like and maybe add the keeper building. If we don't have enough, we'll start with the whole section, the reptile section, basically. And yeah, we will see how it all works out, what's going on and what's happening and stuff like that. Well, guys, this seems like it is it for this episode. There's, like I said, there's still a ton of work. And yeah, I think this like I've mentioned in the last episode this is going to take a couple of episodes to sort of get it there luckily all the buildings are pre-built so we don't have to sort of go through that whole process of building everything it's just basically placing it and getting the park to run good and proper and yeah that is it for this episode thank you very much for watching I honestly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart um, it means a lot to me if you like this video please do leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.